Hey, it's Amy from Paid Search Magic, and I am going to be walking you through a quick data studio tutorial on how to make these micro bar chart comparisons that you see down here. Now, I had a request on how to do this um, from this report that I had put together. Basically, this is a makeover that I grabbed this report um, online and then wanted to see if there's a way I could make it more visual and easier to read. And so these bar charts here, um, they're a little bit of a hack. It's, it's a little more steps um, to walk through how to get this, but it's worth your time to learn if this is something that you want to be able to show on your reports because it is just a really nice, easy way to get an idea for what's happening, um, you know, comparing more than two metrics all at once. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to add a chart. And we're going to select the horizontal chart. Now I have my my chart right here and if you're wondering how come there's only three months in the chart the reason is because i only had three months of data to go with so what i did was i just wrote down like i manually entered the information that was available from that pdf you know that screen grab that i had i entered the data into google sheets and then i just made the calculations within data studio so because of that you can see there's only three um three dates here which is really to my advantage when i'm putting this together because i only want the three uh if i were using a, a live you know a live source like using Google Ads there's no quick and easy way to filter out those months that I don't want so using Google Sheets actually really worked to my advantage here and you can get um, your live data source into Google Sheets as well you can use super metrics and you can uh, get that just get get the information that you need with the filters in order to be able to just have that right here um, if you want to learn how to do that. If you want a tutorial, please just leave a comment below and I'll know to make another video about how to do that. But for right now, we're just gonna go through how to format the chart. Um, so before I start styling this, there's one thing I wanna make sure that I have consistent, which is I wanna make sure that I consistently have uh, this, you know, the current month, which is in this case, August, 2018, compared to the previous month, compared to the previous year. I don't want my sort to vary from one chart to another because um, I'm, I'm gonna be removing the axes for these. And so I, I don't want to have any risk of, of having the wrong order. So I'm gonna go over to sort, and instead of it being by cost, I'm just gonna say date. And that way it's going to consistently be um, in this order, no matter where the metrics fall. So now I'm going to go over to style and I'm going to select show data labels so I can see those numbers right in here. I don't just have to look at and see how they compare, but I can actually get the data. If I wanted to change the color, I can just go here and I'm just going to pick an orange. Now I told you I'm going to get rid of the axes and that's where I'm going to, I'm going to do that right here as next. And so now I don't have those dates. And so, like I said, be really consistent to make sure they're all going to line up. Now this is a text, um, just a text box I'd made to get them all across, but you will have to do something to make sure that you're accounting for the fact that it's no longer built into your chart. Um, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go to the label font size because that definitely needs to be bigger than it is. So let's try a 28 and that will work. And then I'm gonna get rid of the, the label up here, the legend that says cost. And so the way I'm gonna do that is down here where it says legend, I've got a couple different formatting options and I'm just gonna choose none. So now it's gone. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to just format this so it's the size that I want. Uh, I probably picked a little bit big of a font to kind of shrink this down, but um, let's see. Will this switch over? <laughs> uh, this should switch over to... Um, ah To give me this number so it's outside of here. I don't know why it's not doing that right now, but it should do that. So once I get this formatted, you know what, I'm just going to make that change because it's bugging me a little bit. Um, okay. I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. It kind of should have. So once I get it formatted to the size that I want and everything is consistent, then I'm going to just make a copy of it. I'm going to start to line those up. Now, I, mean, I can switch the, the color, which I probably would do just because, you know, I think it's kind of nice for variety. You can have it be a little bit more information that I'm choosing like this right here is just kind of random but then I can select my a different field so like let's say I wanted conversions then I'm going to go and 
just remove cost and replace it with conversions. And I'm just going to do that the whole way down until I have all my bar charts. So um, just to, to recap that, the way I get the data is from Google Sheets. The way I format the data is within Data Studio. So I hope that helped. If it did, please give this a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any requests or any questions, please leave them uh, below. And be sure to subscribe for more videos on how to get dashboards and reports that give you the information you're looking for right within Data Studio. Thanks so much.